it's Sunday. Why are you yelling? Is it Sunday? Because last time I just posted it was a Tuesday. As You're as a liar. We get the thumbnail right for a while. You're a liar. That's because the camera was set up wonky and you looked like you were in 480p. So what does we, that even mean? Uh, there's like 480p, 720, 1080, oh, so like I, high definition. Oh, so I just look like... Real low definition. Like we both did. Ter- it looked terrible. So we were yes. like, I was like, oh, I'll do the thumbnail eventually in like four days, got away. And then boom. But we didn't have a vlog anyway, so it kind of worked out that we could post it on Thursday. Okay. Um, I digress. Yeah, when you came in, I was uh, I, I had just finished filming a video in my office like four seconds before that. So I usually need to like decompress a little bit afterwards, you know. I just like yell for twenty minutes and then I walk out and there's everyone's like, <laughs> like you can't do this shit right now. Yeah, you know? like, oh God, here we go. No another day. Nick being a little bitch. No, I'm uh I'm I'm in a weird uh like my mind has never worked the way it's working right now. And I don't mean that in a good way. Like it's uh it won't stop. Like I can't s- stop my brain. You know what I feel like? Like when I wake up at like five AM or something. I feel like Steve Carell in 40 Year Old Virgin. When he's, you know, when he gets a strip, he's yeah. like, Kelly Clarkson. That's like what I feel like. I'm like, Discord bots, like, email newsletter. Like, I just like wake up and like, that's what's fucking, Im- oh it's man. anxiety. It's not it's even that- bad though. Like most of the stuff is not even, it's just like so much happening that I'm like, this is the first time my life feels like it's moving like really fucking fast. And I'd have, I'm on a roller coaster and I feel like I haven't been fucking tucked in. You, like not even strapped in. No, not it's strapped like, in. We're going to King Kai without the bar. The up. wind is blowing, and we're on our way up. Hopefully and I'm not sure what just happens. Keeps you down. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening anymore. Also, I might need to borrow like 10k from you. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to like pay rent or something. Like, <laughs> oh god. We'll talk about that after. Okay. You should edit this so Heather doesn't freak out. Why would she freak out? Because we got a wedding. Because she's like, oh, you're going to give him the 10K and not have money for us. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like she would be worried about me. That would be nice. Oh, no, nah, she doesn't care about you. You'll be fine. I got you, dog. We'll figure it out. It's hot in here. It is. It's so you're nice in here, though. You know why? Why? The, 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 the AC, AC was on. You talked to Jose? Uh, Jesus. Oh, sorry. But I talked to Jeffrey, who's like directly under a landlord. Okay. And if you saw our text message threads, it was me like reaching out to him 10, 10 times in a row. And I eventually was like, I'm going to get a third party involved if you don't fix this. And like by that afternoon, he was like, oh, we had a guy coming in to fix it anyways. I was like, I've reached out to two different lawyers and they were like, yeah, and your contract has got to be on from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The last week was fucking brutal in here, like 80 degrees, couldn't even work. Jeez. Yeah. I was like, it's actually a fucking problem. That is a problem. That's yeah. like you, you pay for it. So my house is nice just- and crispy. Yeah, it wasn't bad today. Let's go back to, um, so you're just not liquid at all. We're like floating in and out of consciousness. Yeah. The problem is like more random things keep popping up, like business related things. Like for instance, I had to talk to a lawyer about our like startup equity and shit. And there's like, oh, $2,000 off the plate real quick. And then the agency is like $2,000 a month off the plate. And then sexy, you know, he's eventually he's July 1st, literally tomorrow is like he's on the payroll. So that's, so yeah, you have a whole bunch of anxieties. You got work and then you got bills. Bills are bills are back in our bike. Bills are bike, baby. Everything full circle. That yeah. sucks. Do you yeah. have any? But I mean, money should be coming in soon, soon, right? With the draft guide and the, yeah. the bash. I just basically announced it for the, that video I just made. Was like the season long draft guide is up for pre order. Okay, now, so we'll see. Hopefully, things start kind of rolling in. It's been a little bit tougher to be completely honest. Getting people signed up for prize picks. Mm. We're not like you know we're not doing bad or anything because you said they're not fully everywhere, right? They're not like. They underdog. No, I mean they're in as many places as underdog. Oh, okay. The the um, the I would say the um, the gap there is that underdog had best ball, which yeah. was basically just drafting for fantasy. So it was really easy for me to make content around it, and it's pretty easy for me to do it with prize picks as well, because they have like individual player parlays, right? So you take like two different players, and it's like, oh, this guy's gonna have sixty yards this game, and this guy's gonna have forty-two yards this game. You take the over/under on it, but they have it for season long as well. So it's like Derrick Henry's gonna rush for fourteen hundred yards this year. So it's like betting on a future, basically, which is good because, like, in fantasy, I'm talking about like, oh, I think Derrick Henry's gonna do good or bad, you know? Oh, but Price Picks has this line up, so like, it's gonna do bad for fantasy. Take the under on this line. It comes off. I don't make it come off as like a sales pitch, but it's like it's just naturally, you know, me pushing you to like sign up to gamble and stuff like that, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's been a little bit more difficult, but this is also a product where like for underdog best ball was so good for this, the summer, right? Because it's like once the NFL season starts, the best ball drafts don't matter anymore. you can't draft anymore. Um, whereas prize picks product is in season. Like once football games are playing, that's when their product actually like comes to fruition for us. And that's where I think they're going to be a lot more involved and stuff. So I think a lot more 
financial incentive from them will start flowing in once the football season starts too. You know how it is. At this yeah, time yeah. Of. I mean, you're always. I feel like I always think your season starts in June, and you're like, nah, dude, it's like late August. It and has I'm been always, popping off the last few videos, though. I think we're well, that's like good. in that zone now. I had a question on. Obviously, you're still putting out content on YouTube, and that's where the draft guide usually gets pushed. Are you going to try TikTok now since you have such a big – do you think a lot of your following is just – because I, I, I read the comments. A lot of them are fantasy football um, people in general. So I think it yeah, would so benefit you. Yeah, so I was about this actually like I – don't, I don't know if it makes sense to pitch like the, the product we have now. What I do think might make sense is to make like a mini version of it that's like made for mobile and it's like $10 a pop, like a mini version of the draft guide that only includes like three of the most important parts of it Mm -hmm. and then pitching it there. So I think it's, if it's smaller, it's easier for us to plug into there. And it's like, those people are so native to small, just like, you know, give me this, give me this, give me this smaller prices, smaller attention span, smaller that. So that makes a little bit of sense. I'm going to talk with our engineer, Chris and see if we could do something with that, but that's kind of been my plan. And we haven't really, I haven't really been able to sit down and think about monetization for, TikTok outside of like the Don's merch store. Something like kind of crazy happened a few days ago. The FCC basically put out a statement saying Apple and Google have to take TikTok out of their app store because it's like a national security threat because they're feeding so much data back to China. They said you have till July 8th to make a decision on it. They didn't say like what the consequences are going to be, but this is like the most, you know, this has happened every like six or eight yeah, months yeah, or something yeah. where they're like, stop, TikTok's bad for the country. Yeah, because it, China owns TikTok. Yeah, they yeah. started in China. And they have like a TikTok US version of it or whatever. But no one uses it. Yeah, well, they have like a, an infrastructure here, like headquarters, but it, it doesn't seem like the people working in TikTok US are, I don't know if they're like for China or for US, they just like don't care. They're like, we're operating a business the best we can. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. not like, fuck your regulations. We're just doing what we're allowed to. So it's, uh, I've had a few people send me over some like articles and videos on the subject. And I'll, there are a lot of people like legitimately nervous about this mm. being TikTok I mean, being if ripped we can't off. go into the biggest... Um, app stores, <laughs> Google or oh, it's uh, done in US, yeah, yeah. For sure. Like, what do you? Um, will it just delete? I'm Is not it like I, Flappy Birds. I, like you can still play it if you have it. I don't know. I don't know. And what makes me a little bit even more nervous, I guess, is like, okay, they reach out to Apple and Google, right? Those are the app stores, and it's like Google. I mean, maybe they lose money. I'm not really sure what the finances are for that. I can't imagine like. Like, sure, there's a lot of users that use it, but how much money they make off TikTok? I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. But Google owns YouTube. YouTube is pushing shorts like they've never pushed before. And YouTube Shorts and TikTok are like the same product. Mm. So it might make sense for them as a competitive advantage to be yes. like... Shorts are next. Yeah, like, be like, fuck TikTok, you know, like Shorts. They could even make their own Shorts app. Or like pivot off of the YouTube oh. platform and make a YouTube Shorts app. Can you do the same shit like on the Shorts? Like how... The problem is, it would be not a problem for us. Shorts, for whatever reason, are sticking to what TikTok started as, 60 seconds or less. Like we can't put Ike's Lunch on YouTube Shorts. Anything, that it has to be 60 seconds or less. Annoying. Super annoying. Um, but do they have the same, like I'm saying, uh, the green screen type shit and all those other uh, things TikTok have, has? Maybe. Because TikTok's so like, user-friendly, right? Like it's like yeah. you could do anything. You could be on a beach. Um, I haven't really fucked around with the effects too much mm-hmm. on YouTube Shorts because it's always been just like if I'm talking to the camera, I'll just do that. Um, we'd have to research it a little bit. I, again, I don't really know how serious this is, but I know there are more people concerned with it than in the previous like scares about yeah, it. Yeah, because I remember what it was like a year ago they said like TikTok's banned. They're like, Mm, yeah, no, I remember it's not. that. Well, no, that was like not. that was like when was that like Trump was in office and he was like, we have to get China out of our country or whatever. Yeah, yeah and that was like something kind of serious. But we weren't even on the platform at the time. I remember being like, oh, I don't care about this. Now um, it's like <laughs> now it would be a problem because like over the last like three months, the amount of engagement I've gotten from like off the TikTok platform, based on the following we've built there, has been greater right now than it's been at any point for me during YouTube. Really, just like the sheer number of like emails, messages, like inquiries I've gotten, just like building network kind of, you know, is at a point that's way higher than it ever had been for YouTube. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's crazy. And do you see the TikTok people floating to YouTube at all? Or do you see that? Like, do you see like Ike's comments on YouTube now or no? Uh, Rarely. Okay. We haven't really like pushed the fact that we are on YouTube. Um, I did something the other day where like I was doing a live stream on YouTube like a mock draft. Mm-hmm. And then I set my camera up and went live on TikTok, but they can only see me, right? Cause I can't put like the draft board and in, in the, like sync the computer up to TikTok. It didn't, you know, it doesn't yeah, work yeah. that way. So it was like not really native to the platform, but they can hear me talking. It was almost like a Q and a that was going on. And when I first put it on, there was like 600 people in the live stream, like off the rip. That's um, so it was definitely like usable and we could probably transfer people over. 
but it just seems like anytime you try to do too much on the TikTok platform outside of just like, if, if your main goal when you make a piece of content isn't like, I just want to make the best piece of content for TikTok, it filters itself out. Which is funny because I feel like for the last seven years, all you've been saying is if you're making content to make money, it's not going to work. And TikTok's like, took that and made a platform out of that. It's yeah. like, you're That's trying to make money off of, Yeah, it's like, it, you're trying to make money off of us? Nah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't going to do it. Yeah. But you're trying to like, and so you say link in bio, you say, That's wild. You like any of that stuff, um, promo code or whatever. It's just, you see like a, de- a flat deadline on your. So China's movie. just like light years ahead of just this communist countries, man. They just know how to. They just made a decision. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So like everybody's eating the same regardless. So why like let you know fucking capitalism take over on an app? Capital and socialism, same thing. Damn, I love capitalism though. Yeah, who doesn't? Until now, what am I a socialist? Do? Am I communist? I don't Tommy? know. We're not socialist because we don't want everyone making the same. Like okay. fuck that. I think we're definitely commies. Like, wait, what's what's a what? Yeah, I thought socialism was when like there's a cow, but everyone gets the same. Um, I thought this was gets, what communism. Was. No, no, like there's a cow. You can't own the cow, but everyone gets to eat from the cow. And then the communism is like, we can own the cow and sell the cow and make money. That's literally capitalism. We can own the cow and sell it and make money. Is capitalism and communism the same thing? <laughs> and they just didn't tell us? No. They are you sure? didn't tell you. Are, you are, are you positive, though? Are you sure they're just telling us for capitalism, but we're actually communists? I think communism is when everyone makes the same. Okay, hold on. The cow analogy. I feel like we need to get no. off this before we just sound so stupid. No, no. Okay, let me do it one more time. Okay. Socialism with a cow. Like the cow, no one owns it, but everyone gets a piece of it. Capital, uh, communism is government owns it and just gives you the rations they, for you to survive. Capitalism is but that who, we get to own it and we can sell it. You, you, what's the difference between socialism and communism the way you just said it? Well, socialism. You just didn't define who the owner was in the first one. Socialism, like. Yeah, I, but that there's, there has to be a leader somehow. Everybody, man. Yeah, okay. Look at Finland. They're socialists. Okay. I guess I I'm a know. socialist. I'm just fucking lying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I knew that a long I'm, time ago. How did I pass political science? How did you get this job that you just got? Dude. To your top flight security of the world. Literally. It's basically what I've just been telling people. Uh, honestly, I might put it up on LinkedIn like that. Just like top flight security. Change my profile picture to Greg and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Day Day from gift, Friday yeah. and just say that. Yeah, man. It was a long fucking journey. So it was a huge promotion within the company. Oh, dude. Yeah. It's Are a, people like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Pe- well, when's I explain it? Like. Wait, you got this job? And I'm like, <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I feel, for me personally, I was like, this is a long time coming. I've been working my fucking ass off. And finally, it's paid off. Like, I was super nervous this year because I thought I got the job I wanted, like, this year. And I was like, because I've been working in retail for seven years and I wanted to run a store. I wanted it to be my store. Finally got it. And it gave me no happiness. And I got super fucking nervous. I was like, holy shit. Is there Did ever I, gonna be something that gives me <clears throat> happiness? That when at that point I was like, dude, yeah. I'm fucked. I worked seven years in retail. That wasn't just me talking yeah. out loud. Like yeah. my thoughts. That was yeah. me trying to reenact you yeah. at that moment. And I got super nervous, got super depressed. And like even going on LinkedIn, I'm like, okay, I'm a I'm a great president of Best Buy, auto apply. No, just just CEO of Red Lobster. <laughs> but and then I just realized I put myself in such a fucking box. And I was like, holy shit, I don't know if I can get out of retail. I can probably get a better job in retail. But I was like, I'm going to be stuck in fucking retail forever. And I started really freaking out because I was like, I can't start back like and then go corporate. And I would definitely just get like a desk job. Like, you know, like just had to work my way up what, for another seven fucking years. So I started getting really, 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 really depressed, really nervous. Like I said, I started to go see a therapist. I thought like everything was crumbling. I didn't know what to do. Me and Heather's relationship, like she was a fucking gladiator. I was just picking on her all the time for everything. My and, like, literally my therapist was like, you're just trying to sabotage to see, like, so you didn't get hurt. And I was like, damn. But how would you get hurt in that situation? Like, I'm, like I sabotage, I was trying to sabotage so she got mad at me and say she, like, mm. fucked up or did something stupid or, like, left me. I would be like, well. So that, so that she can't be like, it's you crumbling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I'm like, that's what I was doing. I was just like. That sounds like some communist socialist type stuff. Dude, I, own the, I am the cow pal. <laughs> <laughs> and, um. This job has was told to me by like in December, yeah, in December of twenty twenty one, seven months yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah, and then I just got when you were first told about the job. I literally just got into my position that I am in. But now. I mean, like, did you take it seriously? No, I was like, that job's insane. Yeah, I was like, you've been in your like the director that I'll be reporting to. He's been in his current role for nine years. 
and then just got to become like mm-hmm. this new role and I would be under him. I'm like, okay, like, yeah, I've been here for seven years, but I've been doing seven different positions. Like it's not the same, you yeah. know? And I was like, and I've been out of like the security and the, protection and all that shit for out for like about four years now so i was like whatever so two months ago i went i wanted to go for another job which should have been mine but it just fell through and i was like i'm fucked i'm never gonna get this job because this job is like so it was like i feel like you're gonna you're gonna start having ptsd soon yeah it's like any job you went after you're just like oh i'm gonna get it i'm not gonna get it yeah and i i was and i yeah it was getting bad and like last week with it was just like corporate and retail just fighting over other things but i was the it was had nothing to do with me, but I was being used. They're you were like, the cow. Yeah, I was the fucking cow from two governments, and I'm like, this is not fair. This is my life. I need this. <laughs> I love this. They didn't give a fuck. But is I, everything like done? Done, like, signed, done, signed, signed offer. Cut. Let's go. Like yeah. So Friday they will announce it to my team. I can't wear this watch yet because I'm like, why did Heather give it to you yet? Because I was supposed to get it at my bachelor party. Oh uh, okay. But um, she gave it to me uh for this job and. Yeah, I feel really good. I actually, like, um, the day I found out was, I want to say Tuesday. And I told Tyler, you know, I told you were, like, the third person. I just When you sent you. that gift, I was like, damn, <laughs> yeah. you got it. Like, I kind of, like, we were, me and Heather went on, like, a scooter ride. And we went to the park, and we were just talking about it. And I, I broke down a little bit, man. It was just, like, like the first time, like, I felt, like, the weight. Like happy came out of my sh- like I'm like I I felt like Thanos and when he like finished destroying the world it was like I can rest now yeah. that's how I felt like I was like holy shit like uh, when I uh, dropped off the security deposit and the first rent check for this place yeah. before we actually moved in here probably like four or five days before I remember city biking home and like yeah. fucking tears just streaming down my eyes you know people yeah. probably was like what's wrong with this yeah. guy like, like, like fuck you <laughs> like me and Heather at a park I'm like people I think we're breaking up with our scoot like yeah. we have scooters and shit I'm yeah. like my hat's like all the way down here. I'm like, <laughs> And like yeah. she's like, you should be happy. I'm like, I am happy. This is like this is me happy. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> You're sad boy, no matter what. But yeah, it, it just feels good. I know it's gonna be hard, and like not even hard. Just What's like, the most difficult part about this job? I mean, like you're gonna be traveling a lot. Yeah, and then like it's more of like insurance and like we're dealing with our insurance companies, auditing, and like I have to sign like 90 NDAs. Like me not spilling the beans. I love to fucking gossip. That's mm-hmm. probably gonna take me down. And then this um, is where you spill the this beans. This is where we're gonna do this, it. This, 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 the glass round here is a not. It's an NDA shield. It's love a bubble. that. Yeah. I fucking love that. I'm just gonna be with people that I wanted to be exposed to for the last five years. That literally run the world. Like you know. And I'm just excited for it. And dude, I don't get to. I don't need to work weekends. I haven't done that ever. It's huge. No holidays. It sucks. Like that. They, it sucks that I don't do anything on weekends anymore. But it's fine because I get to work from the city for three days a week and I go be home at two days a You're week. You're in the city three days? Yeah. When's it? In I get to HQ? pick. Anywhere? Yeah. No. From here? Yeah. Well, two days I can work anywhere. Sick. I can come here or like those three days. But I you don't have to be in the city then. But I could come. Like I don't give a fuck. Like three days are in the office and the two days I, I work from home. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. And then, um, yeah, it just it seems like a dream. I'm waiting for someone uh, like to be like, nah, it's not Drop, yours. Yeah, something's happening. When when would that start? I, I guess start, I start getting paid like for it next week, but I don't think I'll be fully in the position to like August 19th or some bullshit. Okay. But I don't care. I'm not even working in July. I already made my schedule. Really? You're not working at all in July? No, I am. I'm just not working weekends. That's what I meant. Uh, I'm working five. <laughs> like, I'm working what? my 40 hours yeah. at some capacity. I'm working full time. I'm not working. <laughs> but I'm not anything. working at all. <laughs> Same. But um, yeah, finally, I'm. Um, yeah, I woke up, no qualms, man. First time in a while. Big boy, now. Wow. Big boy. I took all your qualms. It's crazy. I don't think you have qualms, but I am proud of you in one sense of, like, you know, we always look forward to the draft weekend, and, you know, unfortunately this year we can't do it, but I think that was big for you to remember that you need to, like, <laughs> calm down. You need to, like, yeah. pick what's important because that's what, like, but now that, you have yeah. bills for this shit, you know? You can't just, like, try to take on the world altogether. I f- I really starting to feel like I'm going to take over the world. As crazy as it sounds, dude, I've been saying it for seven years. Whose city is this? <laughs> Say it. Say it. Oh man, dude, we're about to sign a, a partnership deal that you we can probably talk about next week okay. or two yeah, weeks I, or something. I was ask you before. Yeah, and like some of the meetings I've been in, for, I, I brought Tony into one of the meetings. They actually asked how me. How did they do? How did he do? He, I mean, dude, do you remember the first couple corporate meetings you were in with like big wigs? It's quiet as you fuck. Just, you just shut the fuck up the entire time. Dons! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, I'd just be like this. Dons! <laughs> no, they liked him. So they were like, bring bring Tony in. Um, so we went in, got to sit down with the CEO of the company, which was cool. Super smart dude who's, you know, made and built and sold a bunch of fucking companies. But. 
now I feel like I'm starting to kind of sit down in meetings like that more and more often, you know, and like, I don't feel out of place whatsoever. That's amazing. Yeah. So it's, yeah. It's Do you moving. change anything when you go to these things or you're just, no what matter I, what? Like what I wear? Yeah. No. Nah, just asking. Black shirt, I think. Black, okay. Black tee, black pants. Uh, okay. Black car, black Cadillac, black tie, it's black like watch. City bikes everywhere. Don't lie to Hell us. Yeah. yeah, dude. It just, it just feels like we are more and more so separating ourselves from like everyone that we're competitive with and also like tiktok's kind of been cool because we've all been able to like f be flexible with who we are individually on there you know and yeah put out a couple videos like quickly just like kind of business advice or whatever and those have played really well and i've had a lot of people reach out to me being like you know these are helpful and it's it's not anything i haven't talked about before a million you times have a bigger platform now it's like yeah, yeah like the biggest business video i ever put on youtube probably got like four thousand views i put out one right now it'll get a hundred thousand well the, the, your pinned uh one pinned is one. really good for just for like explanations and i think it's yeah. it's cool that you're doing that because people are starting to realize like oh shit they just don't guess yeah only ice lunch and now the companies coming to us are like we like they're starting to see us like i've always seen us you know yeah they're like we straight up they're like yeah you're gonna be like a top three sports media brand in the next couple of years like in the space i'm like i already fucking knew that you know i was just waiting for y'all to know that <laughs> yeah i'll tell you what my favorite tiktok video of you guys is now the new sexy p he's sleeping you like, like the chill one, dude. I, like, I watch it every night before I go to bed. <laughs> that shit slays me. It's but it seems like all shit. these guys are pretty fucking motivated now, and it's exciting to watch. I even see like it's funny. Like going there, I see like a random guy, and I'm like, who the fuck is that? And they're like, oh, it's him. I'm like, oh, word, okay. Be like that. Now. Yeah, it's like you, and that's what you wanted too when you uh, built this spot. You said you wanted people to creatively come in here and do their own shit, and mm -hmm. like not even like you wanted to do like see, get a piece of it. You just want people to no, be people expressive here, on that. So fun, I think it's shit. finally all coming full circle. But I, I definitely am worried about you a little bit in your mind. I like we, you should be. I'm yeah. worried about myself. I mean, we talked about it this weekend, dude. Yeah, it was tough. Like we went out, and I, I knew like we weren't weren't going to rage. We ate for like two and a half hours. The place is crazy. If anyone's ever been to Peasant in the it's Lower nuts. East Side, just like a six-course meal, Honestly, finished off with an enormous pig. Pig was the worst overrated. Part pig yeah. was the worst part of that meal, for I, sure. I, like, kept chewing on the skin. I was like, I don't know. Same. Yeah. I, I felt like my skippy. I felt like my fat-ass yeah, dog. when like, give him the And Wilson's ear. like, this is delicious. <laughs> and I'm like, you can eat this? I'm like, putting it on the side, like bubble gum. Good spot. And then we went out, and like, immediately... Was like no. Here's yeah, dude. Here's the thing though. It's like the deeper and deeper I get into this world of like, I just I just want to be great, you know, like at what I'm doing right now, and I just don't want to do anything else besides like I just know the potential, and I'm like you can't veer away from it. But the closer I go down, it's like playing bowling with bumpers, but the bumpers are just like it's like you can yeah. only hit the head pin, you know, and that's what I'm aiming for. But with that, it's like you knock out all the other lanes. It's just like I feel like I'm I'm becoming a different person realistically, you know, yeah. just like not not relatable to other people, but like kind of and just isolated and just like just so fucking focused. I, the only thing I'm nervous about is the isolation part of that. I feel like everything else makes sense. I mean, you're taking meetings that none of us will ever take. That's like and you're doing things that no one else is fucking doing, you know. Like, so that all makes sense. The isolation part is what's scaring me is because, um, like, you are a, a huge social person. I, I was. I just, like, don't know if I am anymore. I feel like you still feed off of that shit, you know? You like to feel good. Like, yeah. Or are you just going to be this mellow person and just, like. That's what I mean. I don't, yeah. I don't know. The more, the deeper I get into it, the more I'm like, yeah, that might be me. I'm scared. Me too. What do I do? I don't know. I, th I think it's a time thing. I think I'll. I think it'll unveil itself a little bit more as we... I think right now just happens to be a time where I can't think about anything else. We just yeah. have too much on our plate and too much at stake right now. Yeah. Are you going to be working during my bachelor party? No, nah, probably more like customer service if I need to. Just on for like a half hour or something. Because mm. the we're all set for the bash to launch. Yeah. Everything's good to go. Done. Done. It's But it's a holiday weekend, so I don't want to like launch it tomorrow. And then no one's like at their computer. Everyone's just like out and shit. So I think we're going to set it live for signups and pre-order whatever wait list on Tuesday, either Tuesday or Wednesday Gotcha for the wait list. And then I've had dreams about it. I've had <laughs> dreams where we launch it. And by the end of the day, we already have 600 people on the discord sign. We need 1200. We had 600. And then I had a dream. I, th I don't remember if it was last night or the night before that, where it was like nine people signed up for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You like, look <laughs> don't do that face. Dude, this is like such a big deal for no, us. I know. This is like us being really vulnerable as a company for the first time and showing how much pull we really have. Yeah, but I feel like you've time and time again have shown this pull. So I don't, I like you've always 
I don't Second know. It doesn't feel like it's ever been this. The stakes have ever been this high. A hundred percent. I think twelve hundred was a huge number when you like. Even when I said, not even the volume, just like the project itself. Yeah. You know, like the ceiling is so high, the downside is like just such a fucking flop. I don't think you say like it's a soft opening. It just means you got to put more content out to show people what it is. Like a twelve hundred person fantasy football bash that. Um, People that love football, obviously, you can see in every social media, loves just needs more awareness. And then once they fi- find out, twelve hundred people that take fantasy football seriously are going to be in this, yeah. and then it's just going to be a th- like just say like basis of it, like you get to be in for like three years, whatever you were saying. And there's prizes like the prizes that you fucking got, like the sponsorships that you have, like dude, like you said, you wanted the most lucrative slash exclusive fantasy football thing. You just did that. You you made a you made one of those clubs that you can't get in without a fucking card. That's what they have in a city that like you just pass like oh I want to go in there. You fucking can't. It's Nine work. people in my dream though, dude. I mean that's ridiculous. That's that's not a dream. That's a nightmare. So I'm calling it a dream. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's just night. It's just work nightmares all the time. But that's what I'm saying. The isolation and the um, like it like the. What do you want me to do? Wake up and be like Steve? I had a bad dream. Not, I mean yeah, you could if you needed to, but like so don't be a little bitch about that. Yeah, dude, you need you need to like let it out, man. You can't just like keep this shit in. I feel like you're just you can't well, keep that terror in, bro. What am I give, what am I supposed to do? I don't have those answers. So I mean, I like, this is me letting it out. Like this is perfect. Like going like you like you just did go on a walk. On a brighter note, I go for actually. That's do you have a morning routine at all? No, my my life's fucked. You should, dude. I know I should. I know. Just go for a walk when you get up. The first thirty minutes, forty five minutes. I, it's it's the only time in my life I've ever had a routine, and I've done it every fucking day for like the last six months, and it is just like I can't imagine my life without it now. It's kind of fucking weird. Yeah, I'm also so like a you weird, wake up. Uh, I was up early today. I was up okay, so I woke up at like woke up with that anxiety at probably like four or so, and then I went back to bed and got like really shitty shoddy sleep probably until like seven maybe. But it my mind is starting to the point where it's like eight a.m. is like wild sleeping in. I mean, I don't think that's weird. You. Yeah, true, my business, you come this, you that. come in. Um, well, right, brighter notes, Mr. Brightside. Let's go. So I was thinking, I want to do another podcast like this, but with my friend Jack Settleman. Nice. Just about the, um, just like coming up as a content creator because I'm, I'm. It was funny. It was like when we were in, when I was in that other office with the company we're talking with. Uh, the dude was like, "Oh, you just missed like Jack and his team coming in," and it felt like, uh, it's just like we're the next up and coming wave for this stuff. Yeah, it's really cool to see it play yeah. out into fruition. And you guys are actually friends. Yeah, Jack's nice. like a homie of mine, so we're gonna do it like something very, very similar to this, um, which I think could be huge. I mean, we both have very big audiences at this point, and he came up in a very different way than I did, right? Like through Snapchat, yeah. different platforms, and he's doing a lot more uh, of a variety of stuff. And he's doing a media brand too, correct? Exactly. Yeah, we're like yeah. very, very much in the same you know, space of the city. He was even like, yo, I'm about to write a book this year. Do you want to like write half of it with me? I was like, no, (laughs) unless I I would do it. If someone did like an audio, you know, if I could like talk it and then someone just like wrote it up or whatever for me. But he's a kid that's going to be wildly. He's like 24, 25. Oh, really? Yeah. Like I'm, I'll say like I'm way more seasoned than he is in the business world, but age for age, by the time he's my age, what I am right now, he'll be way more successful than I am right now. Gotcha. But he's like on a very exciting path, and his name is starting to like you get know, out make there. waves and shit. And he's just like cool as shit. Like you would get along really, yeah, I don't really think well. I've with met him. him. Um, yeah, so I think we would. I think me and him would kill that fucking podcast. He would go crazy on TikTok and like. I mean, that, us yeah, just I helping mean, the younger content creators coming up would be sick. No, I think that's a great idea. I think see, and that's the thing. Like you need to be with people that like are doing like minded shit with you. Like how like we can do this shit, but we're talking about totally different uh, subjects. Like you yeah. need to talk to people that actually understand these meetings that are actually going there, mm-hmm. living that lifestyle of anxieties. Like yeah, I got anxieties. I don't got fucking business anxieties. You know, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm excited about that. Um, next episode for this, the hot ones. Yeah, that's what uh, Max was saying. So in two weeks, we'll do that shit. I'm excited for that. I got it. Oh, yeah. I think it I'm not really interest. excited for it. Actually, I was talking about this. Uh, I don't know. With, uh, maybe Jason. And I was just like, since COVID happened, like, I haven't been eating hot food. And, like, hot food has been affecting me now. Am I going to jump you? You might. I don't know. Have you been eating hot food? No. Okay. So, no. So, no, you won't jump me. <laughs> yeah, I don't eat anything. But we might, like, both die together. And I'm nervous because, like, you don't really have a bathroom. You got, like, an, um, another bathroom. And I'm going to be, like, going to have to go there. And then you're going to have to go, like... Dude, the I've bathroom is like six stalls. Oh, really? I don't know. I thought it was like one stall. I've never You're not been. been in there. No, I don't even know where it is. You've been here like nine times. Have you never been to the bathroom? No, I've never been to the bathroom. 
I'm not telling you the code. There's a code. There's a code? So there's a code. And for the first like two weeks we were in here, it, was, it wasn't locked. So we're like, why is there even a lock on there? And then one day it randomly was just locked and we had to remember the code. But we got, I do this every single morning. Anytime it's locked, you just like put the code in and there's a lock on the back of the door and I unlock it. I know the janitor would be getting fucking f- pissed. Why? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea if he's actually getting pissed. Oh, I just okay. figured because he locks it every day, so he'd probably if he cared, if he didn't care, he probably just wouldn't lock it. You know? Okay, that makes. But sense. I think there's a bunch of homeless people probably that like run through the building and stuff. Yeah, I've never been uh, to the bathroom, so I was like nervous about that. And then I was like, okay, say like the hot ones. I haven't had that spice in so long. Like, what if it like I'm just gonna be on a floor for like four hours and then take a train back? I'm a little nervous to New Jersey. Yeah, it's almost like um, when you have a big event coming up or like. You, you're giving like a speech or some shit like that and you don't really have to think about it at all until like the day of then I'm gonna be really nervous yeah for the consequences of it <laughs> I'm looking forward to it but maybe I'm not excited I don't really know do you have the questions done I have a majority I just asked these fellas for like if they had anything they wanted to include because they probably do because they are here all the time guts, yeah. yeah most likely are you gonna like order wings or Max gonna just like fucking sauce them do we have a saucer? Like, are we up to that level yet? Like, I have, do I have, I have to those, like, plastic big bowls that we can put them in for sure. Yeah. Because um, last time we, like, dipped. I don't even think we, like... Well... That was light years ago. So long ago. We still lived at home. Was it, like, six years ago? Five years ago? Five years, probably. Oh, my God. How time flurs. 10,000 calorie challenge. Remember we thought we were going to do that for every single time you, like, got... Got a 10,000 subs, yeah. We really want to do that on TikTok. Every time we get... 10,000 followers. <laughs> what, 10,000 calories? Like twice it, 20,000. Uh, Done? Done being disrespectful? <laughs> Take my own time to come here, and do your little podcast. You don't even have a job. Your time isn't worth anything. What do you mean I don't have a job? I work in July. You already told me. I told you I work, but I don't work. If I don't work, you're trying week- to get that work. What else do we have? Well, are we doing anything this weekend? Well, now you're the most antisocial man. You're literally a vigilante now. So, <laughs> um, so I guess. Dude, you know, no, you know what the thing is? I could be super social during the day. You just got to bring me around. Like, if we day drink or day party, I'm all. I don't want to go out at night. Same. Yeah. Okay, we're good. That's been all the problems I just had are gone. Yeah, like, I never want to go Shit, out. At I night hate anymore. the nighttime. Dude, nights for sleeping and for Heather to yell at me. Huge. Uh, and hand jobs. Okay, so wait, when are you busy this weekend? Sunday, and you're like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a holiday Dude, weekend. I mean, with Monday Sat- off, and you're gonna take the fucking one big day out of the week that we go Saturday. Why can't we do something Saturday during the day? Like, I don't we get what. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, stop. I lost like eight pounds. I've gained like eighteen. Together it would be a perfect. <laughs> Together weight. would be a problem. <laughs> It'd be a problem in the media space. No, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's supposed to rain this weekend. Yeah, this was. I am up like it, going back to this the weekend. What are these motherfuckers doing over July 4th? I don't know. Uh, Tony's going to Cape Cod. He invited me. I was like, go. He's going from the 5th to the 8th. Oh, that's dumb. Tuesday to Friday. I would love to just kind of escape the city for yeah. a couple of days, but that's just like, I can't do you that. You want to go to the park in Montclair? It's a great park. Yeah. Brookdale Park. You had me in the first half. <laughs> you want to go to the park? No, it's too packed in Central Park on holiday no, dude, weekends. It's fire. It's fun. Come on. It's you make f- friends. It's fun. Well, I don't... For what? What am I going to make what? friends with in Montclair? A, f- a fucking... Mom? 92. Rich yeah, moms. but moms. Like, Rich mothers. Mo- if they're at a park for a picnic, they're with, with their, their kids. And their father. Or their father's gone, and they live at the park. You're making a good case here. So good, I have to turn you down. Whatever. Central Park's overrated. You like have been there once or twice with me, and you loved it six times. Yeah, no, I had a great time. I just don't like sitting on grass. That's fair. If you have like I don't know chair. how hot it is. No, I think it's I have rain. a sick chair that I put on my rooftop. You go to the roof? Yeah. I didn't know that. I've never seen it. I've still yet to. I've been in my building for two months, three months now. I haven't yet to meet a single person in it. I mean, an old ass lady who's like ninety seven. You could tell she's one of those people that is like grand grand rent odd. controlled. Has like, like she's 95. probably paying two two hundred fifty dollars a month right now. <laughs> she can't barely walk. I've had to hold the elevator door open for like six times. So you have met somebody. Yeah, she was my. I don't. I don't think she's ever said a word to me. She's just like. She's just like creaks. Like her oh body just God. creaks. You know. I met like four people at your building. Really? Like when I'm trying to get in, like. Oh, you know what? I've locked myself out enough that I've. I've never met anyone, but they probably think I'm sus as shit. Because I'm just constantly sitting out there, like, "Hey, can you let me in? I promise I have a key." Like, but how do you get yeah, into dude. your apartment? I keep a key under the mat. I just got to get in there now. You know. Excellent. I feel like you should find a better hiding spot. I'll put my key under someone else's mat. You should put it on top, you know, like the frame. Yeah, that's, that's what people a, do. Whatever. Have you been talking to your mom and your sister? Or are you isolating from them too? I'm just going to keep calling you to fuck out on this isolation. 
I'm being ISO mode right now. Dude, cannot do this. ISO fucking full back, half back, ISO up. I feel like your mom's going to see you, see you at my wedding. She'll be like, oh, Nick, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen you. She's uh, so supportive. Speaking of bachelor party. Here we fucking go. Yeah, we canceled it, if you nice. don't mind. Okay. All right, we're going to Central Park for all three days. <laughs> uh, no, we have everything planned except for the first day. The night we, we get there. there, and I was talking about that in the chat, and George was like, we should leave it open and free ball it. Because we don't know when like the flights are getting in, we don't yeah. know. I'm f- you're you're cool. The only problem with that is if we leave it open ended and we just like end up at like a random bar and we're just like, I got to rather not start the trip off that way. Yeah, but I get what he's saying though. Too. But we also shouldn't take advice from George. You should see him yesterday. Joey was sending me pictures of him like on the boardwalk and like drinking. He's a, he's a loose cannon. He actually snapped me a couple of times this weekend, which is how I know he's off the rails. Yeah, he's I started re- getting snaps from him. He's yeah. ready. He's telling me, he's, he, uh, he sent me a, a margarita that he uh, read at yeah, a 9 2, and then he was in my DMs about it. This is the best margarita I've ever had. It was like a jalapeno watermelon. Like <laughs> So, not even a margarita. Yeah, I'm like, just like, like a 2.4, probably. Not excellent. Um, sucking it down because you're fucking so thirsty. You want to go to a roller rink on Friday? Tomorrow? No, for my bachelor party. I, was, I don't know what to pick. Wait, is your bachelor party next weekend? No, 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 no. We're good. Woo! Why? I had something I had to do, so. That would, I, I don't care. I just got nervous. Yeah. I didn't realize it crept up that quickly. No, it's creeping it's up. weekend I think, after, though. I think we have, like, almost only 10 days left. I'm excited to go on a trip with our friends, dude. Yeah. Like, no, we haven't been able to let loose like I think like we that have a, a really good crew. I'm not, like, worried about anybody. It's going to be think, awesome. I think there's, like, four people that I'm really excited for them to let loose. Yeah, and right. I'm one of them. I think you just need to rest. <laughs> so this is not what I need. No, I think one day you rest and then you're like Saturdays, Saturday, like the boat day, whatever the day Friday's is going to be chill. Like that's going to be awesome. I think the boat day is going to be our favorite day. And then um, when we just are running around Saturday, I'm assholes. going nuts on Saturday. Yeah, I'm going fucking bananas. On I'm, Saturday. I'm down. I'm going to be a pr- fucking problem child. I'm like definitely not trying to like black out by two, but I'm going to black out by three. Hey, brunch res at nine, nine a.m. We have a second one at one. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Are you fucking yeah, kidding? Yeah, we, no, we fucking do. We do. <laughs> 9 a.m.? Dance! That's the wrong platform. It's not even fucking Shit. lunch with Ike. That was good build up, though. It was, but Have wait. you seen Tony's speeches? They're yeah, fire. Yeah, they're fucking fire. Yeah. I love I'm even the hitting fucking them with the pillow get one. Like, get him. Yeah. Wait, 9 a.m.? No, no, I was kidding. Okay. I was kidding. Can you 10, do that, 10, though? 10, 10, 10. Wait, do we really have two brunches in one day? Like, I'm fucking excited. I'm going to keep a surprise. Just one thing surprise. <laughs> We should probably end this. Yeah, this is getting Unless saucy. we, uh, do we have anything else? Uh, do we have any Q&As? Not that I asked for any, but. Yeah, why? <laughs> I think we should actually, one thing we should do with this is m- maybe not come prepare with segments, but do something that's a little more organized so we could actually take the clips and put them on TikTok. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I honestly don't know anymore what we can talk about, what we can't talk about. You could, at this point, we could talk about everything. We could talk about everything except something I've signed an NDA for. <laughs> that's the only thing we can't talk about. Yeah. We can go, I also back, probably to, need to go do back to my personal life a little bit if we need to. Yeah. Well, also, too, I feel like now that I got this job, I can focus. Like, I wasn't even texting you. I feel like we weren't, like, I wasn't talking to, I was just sad boy. So, I'm bike. I'm bike. I have nothing else to say. I'm, I'll take a couple fucking notes. We'll do hot ones next week. We're going to fucking eat them. We're going to enjoy them. I'm going to make fun of fucking Max. I'm going to guess Ike's lunch right. I'm going to fucking slap you sexy come in for a all day. I know. I thought today yes. was going to be the day. You can't come well, in at 1. He, the kid orders at like 1130. <laughs> Dude, that's ridiculous. What am I supposed to be coming at 9 a.m.? Yeah. What do you think all these guests to do? They're like, I want to be on it bad. I'll be at. I'll be here at 6 a.m. I'll be like, right attitude. I, fuck. What? <laughs> what is that? No, I, I, I thought I was going to get the opportunity. Nah, he usually orders at 1130 for the most part. So you guys do it then. 1130, we usually film like 15 minutes, 20 minutes after. We still got to wait for it to get here to film both parts. Should we do anyway. a while yelling, but a uh, six months performance review? Of everyone? Yeah, we'll just sit up, come in, I'm a, I'm down. still, I guess I'm a little, oh, with them in here? Yeah. That would be kind of good, yeah. Yeah, we could do that. I would like that. Yeah, so you can flame them a little bit. Yeah. We yeah. have our, we have our uh, first of the month, uh, first day of the month. Touch base? Employee meetings tomorrow. Nice. We're starting to get too many people. I don't know if I could do this every month. Yes, you can, because it's important. I was hoping you are like, yeah, you're right. No, too fuck many you. I mean, I missed like the last four because I don't care about my <laughs> jet store, but yeah. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. You All want, right. Thank want... you for hanging out with us. Uh, subscribe, thumbs up, rating, review. Follow Steve on Twitter or Instagram. If you have any questions for me, ask him. Oh, that's a smart idea.